we've been getting a lot of rain but the rain's supposed to be over for a few days now and we'll get a lot of wind today you can probably hear it so hopefully we'll get the ground dried out to where i can get in the garden and do something finally but today i just want to make a quick short video uh showing me planting a few seeds in the house and yeah nothing big but I do want to show you what i got uh, nothing fancy pro mix bx uh, yeah i actually do think i'll add just a little bit of compost in the rest since i've got it just to give it a little bit of kick and a little bit of life biology in there. not much i just want to grab a few of the cups like this throw in there like i said this is going to be small still and a few of these tags I'm going to show you what I'm planting and start with the peppers because I'm going to plant peppers and tomatoes today. That's all I'm going to plant. But the fish pepper, that's a hot pepper. That's what I want the most of. Uh, lightning mix. This is a habanero strain that's got a lot of variability. So I could get any one of these uh, that it shows there. And I've got some of those in the past. You also get a lot of the uh, throwbacks, which would be the old school orange habanero. But this is one that I didn't mention in the previous video, but this is a pet project of mine. And I grew this once in the past. Uh, I don't know how you say that. I'm going to try to say it. Criolla de Cocina. Uh, that may be totally wrong, but uh, this is a strain from cent Central America, uh, Nicaragua. And... It's not a hot pepper, it's a sweet pepper. And when I grew it before, I didn't know what I was doing. And so I was growing them and they're really late to mature and I was picking them green. And that's not what you wanna do. So if you let them turn red, I got this apple candy sweet, really nice red pepper. And I wanna grow a lot of these this time for cooking. Uh, so tomatoes, Matt's wild cherry, it's a red currant type, I think, little bitty. I've never grown this. I've never grown any of these tomatoes, in fact. And I'm not growing any of these tomatoes in my garden. These are all for friends. Uh, this is a dwarf type, Tumbling Tom Yellow. And another dwarf type, Mini Bell. And I typ typically don't mess with those container type plants. But that's the kind of gardening my friends are going to do. And for their context, it's the most practical. This last one is one that I've never grown. But I'm really excited about it. Napa Chardonnay. This is a, this is a seed from Wild Boar Farms in California. If you're not familiar with that breeding project, <clears throat> you should check it out. Really unique stuff. And one of the cool things about Baker Seed is they give you a free pack of seeds every time you make an order no matter how small and i don't know if i'll plant these or not probably not now but yeah free tomatoes that's cool i'll probably give it away i won't let it waste so i'm going to explain why i'm planting these like this in a later video and this is something you would do for home use this is probably not that practical for if I was going to plant out two or three hundred plants for a market garden. But that's not what I'm doing this time. So I've got some seeds in the dirt, y'all. Uh, another step towards getting this thing rolling. And hopefully they come up pretty soon. I said I have faith that my heat mat will bring them on up. So it's 24 hours later. Actually a little more than that. And the heat mat wasn't keeping the soil warm enough i touched it and it does take a while to warm up but after 24 hours i touched it and it wasn't warm as i want it 
and that's the whole point of the heat math. Those hot pepper seeds, especially the habanero, got to be really warm to germinate. So, so I put this little, it's just a, just a storage container, but I just put that over there to hopefully hold in some heat and humidity. We'll see if it helps. Looks like the garden's starting to dry out a little. I still got a ways to go. Well, I'm glad that I did get the seeds in the dirt. And those are hot peppers, so they'll be super slow to germinate. Even with the heat pad, it'll be at least a couple of weeks. So, yeah, that's that's good too, because I'm a long ways from my last frost date. And those guys cannot tolerate any frost, especially when they're young. So, yeah. That's that. Uh, hope y'all liked that. And if you did, you can give me a thumbs up if you want. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, please. And with that, I'll let y'all go. Y'all be good. Bye.